Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here, and I'm back with another Transformers review. This time, we're going back to the Beast Wars, the original Beast Wars. I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I've had him sitting on the couch for a minute. I just haven't gotten around to it, and I figured, yeah, you know, it's been a while since I did a few uh, reviews. So we're going to take a look at Beast Wars Megatron. Yes. Um, yeah, so this guy, he is pretty darn cool. I like this guy. Um, first of all, Beast Wars is definitely one of my favorite, uh, Transformer series. And when it came out initially, it was not. I, in fact, hated the series. Uh, it came out in the 90s, and I was in high school, uh, just getting out of high school, uh, when it had come out. And I was like, uh, sucks. Transformers, Optimus Prime turns in the truck, not a monkey. And it wasn't until years later that uh, a good friend of mine got me back into the series and he made me, sat me down and we watched a bunch of VHS tapes of it and watched the series and I'm like, you know what, this is actually very well written. And, I mean, you got to get used to that um, animation. Um, you know, I, I, I don't mind it now. I, it just took me a while to get used to that animation, that CG animation. But it was, it was kind of, you know, um, groundbreaking because nobody had done that before. So, definitely good stuff. And... Megatron is one of the better figures out of that series and one of the better characters out of that series. I mean, David Kay does a fantastic job. I uh, love him in animated as well. Um, just I loved that version of Megatron because he was not the original Megatron. And when I found that out, I was like, okay, I can work with this. And he's very devious. He's very manipulative. I mean, he's very, 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 well, Predacon. Um, but, you know, it just... It was nice to see an, a different villain. You know, he named himself after the original Megatron. Uh, it, it, he was a great character. And the toy is actually one of my favorite from the original Beast Wars. And this is an original figure. This is an original Megatron figure. I picked this up at a dirt mall or flea market, whatever you want to call them. And he is missing one piece right here in the chest. Um, he's missing this piece here. But that's okay because I got this guy for $2. So I can't complain too terribly much. Uh, other than that, he's he's perfectly fine. Doesn't hamper transformation or robot mode. Uh, so, sure, why not? Um, but yeah, I mean, he's a really cool-looking figure. He's the purple dinosaur, kind of the evil Barney. I wonder if they went for that. I don't know. Uh, but he's got some really, really nice detail. I love, love the head, love the red eyes. He's got the teeth. And then, you know, his little uh, gimmick here, you know, you can... Giddy's mouth to open up, ah, ha, 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 and I believe, I don't know, I believe that the tongue, uh, that you can fill this with water, and you can squirt water out of this, I'm not really sure, I've never done it, uh, but yeah, so that's his little beast gimmick, and the detail's nice, I love the green melding into the purple paint job, I mean, we've got some hinges and screws and stuff there, which, okay, that's alright, uh, but the spine actually seems very, very well together. The only way that you can tell that this splits apart is by the piece right here. The rest of the spine, I mean, you really couldn't tell it splits apart. Um, the legs are okay. We got these pieces here, and they're a little loose because the figure's kind of old um, on his hips, but they work. You know, it's not that big of a deal. And he's got these um, little, and he's got huge guns for these little tiny arms. Look at these muscles. Urgh, they're huge. I don't know why they're so massively huge and the the scales on the figure are very very nice we got a bunch of scale patches I and mean, he's just really cool he's got some yellow underneath on his underbelly which is very very cool and his legs look really nice um i guess you want to well yeah i always leave that in beast mode he's got these little feet back there and his little toes painted toenails all that kind of good stuff it'd be nice if they would have painted the toenails up here but, oh well, what are you going to do? Um, everything else on this figure just looks really, really great. Um, he's a deluxe class, I would guess you would call this. Um, Voyager class. Or not deluxe class, but a Voyager class. So he's pretty good size. He's uh, pretty rocking. I'm going to compare him to Grimlock. So here is animated Grimlock to Beast Wars Megatron, as you can tell. He is quite a bit bigger. Uh, this figure is much bigger than this guy and looks a lot more dino-ish. So, yeah. Uh, God, Lord, this figure is so, so nice, so cool. Uh, Transformation is not too difficult for this guy. You just kind of break apart the chest piece here. 
Um, the hips, they're going to kind of swing up and they actually pull out like that and you can spin them around. Now they're supposed to have missiles in here and then you can launch them with this button, but I don't know where the missiles are. I never had them, never came with the figure uh, because like I said, I got it from a flea market. Um, and then your tail is going to separate. You're going to pull this apart and get this piece out here. Flip it back together. I'm going to pull out so you got your little um, pinchy claw thing here. We're going to spin the legs down. Um, the body, you're going to want to spin up. You're going to pull the head up like this and you're going to clip the body actually clips into the back here and then I kind of always pull down pull these back here you want to spin your feet around straighten your legs you're going to pull your rear feet back here out um, like so I just kind of flip these back get them out of the way and this arm is really kind of short because he's got these little uh, pincher on it a little head and then you want to spin this around and um, this is supposed to I think move this and clip this but it's kind of old I don't know how well it actually yeah, it works a little bit still there you go so you kind of get that <clears throat> Keep those kind of folded up like so. And then he's got, this was a big thing with these these characters. They had these mutant heads. And his looks more like a battle mask. Um, all you have to do is open that up like this. And then we get Megatron's face. And it's a really good head sculpt. I think it looks really nice. Um, he looks like Megatron, um, the purple face, all that kind of good stuff. The only thing I've noticed on this figure, and I don't know, do you guys have this figure? Um, does anybody else have this figure? It's... I don't see a Predacon jewel anywhere on this guy. No Predacon logos, no jewels, anything like that. Uh, now, these little pieces down here, like I said, they had at one point missiles that you can fire off, but mine does not have them, so I just kind of fold them back and get them out of the way kind of deal. Uh, but all in all, yeah, he's a nice-looking figure. He looks a lot like the Beast Wars Megatron. He's got he's got the big the big headed arm piece here um, uh, from the show. And you can ah, ha ha and you blast out of that. And then he's got um, the little grippy arm piece here. Now in the show, I believe this came off and he actually had a hand hand, but uh, this figure does not have that. I believe one of the reissue figures had this so but all in all he's got nice detail i love the black the black looks really cool it's got lots of nice detail on it lots of nice robot detail um just a nice all-round figure and he's got that kind of look i mean he's just very cool well sculpted it's a fun toy it's a nice toy it's a large toy um so it definitely cool very different for a megatron figure which you gotta like and you know this is, you know, prior to a lot of the articulation and that kind of stuff. I mean, he's got, he's got his hip joints in here that, you know, you get the nice, you like that? Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice sound in a figure. Um, he's got some waist type stuff and his arms are on ball joints and everything. And his head really doesn't move all that much, uh, kind of back and forth. But these bat wing like things kind of um, get in the way there. And, you know, it's a shame you can't do something else with those those um, pieces there but I, I do like the it kind of does look like the little battle mask kind of thing and that was a gimmick they did in the toys that never really made it to the show where they the face is kind of flipped over but you do see that in the Bayformers films uh, with some of the Transformers and animated and uh, Transformers Prime so uh, yeah pretty cool pretty nice he's definitely a, a cool figure to have uh, if you're a Beast Wars fan he's definitely somebody to have I mean he's got a lot of shell former type stuff floating around in the back, but that's okay. Grimlock did too. You can't can't go wrong with that. Uh, but he's definitely a good-sized figure. Uh, if you can find this guy relatively cheap, absolutely pick him up. Um, I probably, I don't know, 
in good condition with all the parts, I would probably spend up to around $20 on this figure easily. Uh, I spent $2 on it. It was missing one piece and missing the missiles. I can't complain. Um, I think it's a good deal. So, uh, yeah, Beast Wars Megatron. If you are a Beast Wars fan, this is a must-have. He is far better than, I think, the reissue for the 10th anniversary. I really would have liked to have seen them adjust this mold and uh, make it a little more uh, cartoon accurate. Uh, but they did a pretty good job on this one. I, I, You know, it's not too bad. So, yeah, there he is, Megatron. Yes. <laughs>